even I've been jailed for three times, and I need to face a trial on 8th of November, which means three months later. But we still keep on our fight. We shall not surrender. We strongly experienced the political prosecution and arrest in the recent month. Two months ago, I served all of my jail sentence and left prison. Unfortunately, under chilling effects generated by Beijing and Hong Kong government, we strongly aware that how they arrested activists, no matter act progressively, progressively or moderately. All we ask for is just to urge Beijing and Hong Kong government withdraw the bill, stop police brutality, and respond to our calls on free election. We can very, we can see very clearly that the, the regime and the Hong Kong government is trying to create a white terror to try to scare Hong Kong people to not to participate in the social movement and in the democratic movement in the future. But we Hong Kong people won't give up and won't be scared by this um, white terror and injustice, but we will keep on um, fighting for democracy and the five demands of Hong Kong people, including a complete retraction of the extradition law. And I urge international communities to send a clear message to President Xi, sending troops or using emergency ordinance is not the way out. We will continue our fight no matter how they arrest and prosecute us. Strongly experience the political prosecution and arrest in the recent months. Two months ago, I served all of my jail sentences and in prison. Unfortunately,